Welcome back. I'm Brandon, the HBAR Bull. I do some contract work for the HBAR Foundation, and I love to do some deep dives into what's happening in the Hedera ecosystem. Today, we welcome Patches from Hashgraph Punks and Turtle Moon fame to tell us about a new project he's working on that's going in a bit of a different direction called hgraph.io. Welcome, Patches. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Just to kick it off, Patches, can you start off explaining what hgraph.io is? Yeah. Um, so broad strokes, it's a way to talk to the Hedera mainnet that is much more concise and uh, flexible, uh, a lot more flexible than the current methods we have talking to the mainnet through the public REST API or any other API service at the time, because we use something called GraphQL. And that's just a query language that allows you to say, I want this data back. That's about this specific thing. And um, instead of having to write a lot of code in say, you know, in REST and, and there's just a, a multi-layered system where you have to get all of this data back that you might not need and then send it back and, and forth. It simplifies the whole thing. So you're just like, give me this data from the mainnet, you get it back and then you can work on your application. You can focus on what you've got to do with that data uh, instead of work on trying to get it from the mainnet, which is up until HGraph.io, a lot of the development work in Hedera. Yeah, coming up with these tools to make things easier for our developers is is certainly critical. So what drove you to create hgraph.io? Yeah, so we, we created HGraph Punks over a year ago, and the intent of that project was to find out if someone were to create a large-scale NFT collection, what problems would they run into? And then after we find those problems, build solutions that help the ecosystem grow. And so hgraph.io came out of that that exact experience where, as an example, I was calculating total volume, uh, which is a very you know common statistic in NFTs for hgraph punks. And it took me around 18 hours to get total volume because it was several rest calls for every transaction to get both the amount, when it happened, and to and from, and then the metadata of that NFT. That was about three or four calls. Um, and then you have to, you had to pause in between calls so you didn't, you know, get rate limited or anything. And that was unsustainable. I realized like, you know, if we're going to have uh, an ecosystem that has, you know, stats just like OpenSea, as an example of an NFT marketplace on Ethereum, we're going to need a way to get these statistics a lot faster. And then uh, it kind of all goes from there. When we were creating the DAO platform, um, it was a little difficult to get back information that we needed from the mainnet. And it was always, you know, when we were developing again, it was it was focused on how do we get this information off of the mainnet because that was the most friction filled part. And that just didn't, that, that, that's not what the ecosystem needs. We need people to be focused on how to use the awesome network instead of how to get things off the awesome network. So sure. yeah, we uh, me and uh, my co-founder Splash in HGraph.io, we saw this and we're we're experienced in GraphQL. And so we realized that if there was a way to have a very flexible query to the mainnet, if there was a way to get back that information uh, almost in real time, we would enable just a massive amount of innovation on the network. And that's what we've done. If you go to Turtle Moon Launchpad and you go to a collection page, you can see total volume, uh, the supply, 30-day volume, weekly volume, daily volume, the largest sale. And that's all one query for HGraph.io. So it's all of that intense aggregate data and it comes back in around three to five seconds opposed to 18 hours for one of those statistics um, as previously. So, you know, you've kind of hit this in broad strokes, but, you know, who exactly is your target audience for these services? Yeah, so we have we have two main buckets, I would say. Um, one and the easiest adopters uh, would be people that are just building on Hedera already. If you are using Hedera and you're trying to get information off, and especially if you need real-time information, uh, you know, you can subscribe to queries, that are very complex with hgraph.io. You can just get giant chunks of data. You can get a holder's every NFT they have and every transaction of every NFT they have and all of the metadata of each NFT three to five seconds. Um, so that unlocks so much possibility for dashboards, for for interoperability of you know P2P trading systems, and then expand it out of NFTs. Any any project that needs to have a Hedera consensus service data or anything like that off of it off the main net, uh, this just simplifies that flow. Um, and then the other giant section, so like anyone working on Hedera network is is kind of the big bucket over here. And then the second big bucket 
And this is where I really see uh, an ability to grow the Hedera ecosystem and get developers over here is showing how you can use um, Hedera as a layer two for other layer ones. And that it's very simple to use, say, like if you have a metaverse or, or a game, um, you're going to have to have a lot of events. You're going to have to record a lot of events. You're going to have to have a lot of NFTs moving around. And on any other network, that can be very costly. If you have an ETH project, but you build your game on Hedera, you can use HGraphIO to, again, get this very versatile, quick data set of all of this interacting of your gamified NFTs that are on the carbon negative network that are on, you know, um, again, through the five seconds finality, very cheap to mint, and then interact and pay out an ETH or interact through the MetaMask wallet and uh, with your NFTs on that side. So the hope is it's easier to get the adoption of, you know, people using, <laughs> excuse me, using Hedera. That makes sense. But then show other developers on other networks how Hedera can supplement their development, how HGraphIO can enable them to use this amazing network, all of its benefits without having to move its entire code base and platform over and instead supplement it for some friction points they might have. That cross-chain collaboration is going to be invaluable as well. I think that's that's fantastic to see that interoperability and, and being able to help some developers uh, just ease their way into our ecosystem. It'll certainly help. So, you know, it sounds like you already have a broad vision, but how, how do you plan on expanding the services into the future? Yeah, so, so right now we are a query. You know, you can get information off. You can subscribe to, again, very complex queries. So if I want to know every time you your wallet got over 100 HBAR sent and the wallet that sent it had these three NFT token IDs, I'd get an event of the JSON data I wanted. But you can do something that complex and it, it, it'll send you the event right when it hits finality on the mainnet. So that, that's great. It's, it's really, really helpful and versatile. But we want to take it uh, eventually to being a, a read-write API. And so it'll allow and supplement really complex things that you need to do just for basic NFT projects or any any crypto projects. You know, our, our team has built a lot of things like a, a DAO, a farming platform. Uh, and so we have experience in a lot of different use cases. And we're also talking to a lot of groups of developers on the network. So I think we have a really good understanding of what is the biggest friction points and what, what would help supplement uh, if you could just post one time to do these three or four actions. So, you know, we're, we're trying to fix the problem of cumbersome reading and from data from the mainnet, but then we want to do read and write. And we want to, we want to expand to enabling developers to really quickly and easily interact with the network. Cause we think the innovation explodes when people aren't just working on how to get the data and they're working on how do we make a beautiful experience with this data. That's what people should be focused on. And we, we believe HGraphIO is the solution. So people don't have to focus on how, they just have to focus on what they're creating. Makes a lot of sense. Are there any services like this already in the ecosystem or is this an original? So uh, there's definitely other APIs um, for the mainnet, but I believe we're the only, we are the first HGraph, uh, sorry, HGraphIO, uh, the GraphQL, so we are, I think we're the only uh, GraphQL API, which again, the flexibility of GraphQL gives you a, a lot of these advantages, uh, advantages where it's not multiple calls to a REST API with different pieces of data to get back one thing. And it's just, hey, this is what I need. And again, as that example on Turtle Moon Launchpad, here's 10 complex data aggregate queries. This is what I need right now. And they all come back in one call. So what has you most excited about hgraph.io? Uh, I think it's the unknown. It's like, I don't know what this will unlock in the ecosystem, but I know it will unlock something because yeah. uh, just personally, you know, we, we've been able to build a lot of cool things from Discord bots to, again, DAOs, DAO platforms um, for tokenized voting on the HCS. And it's just, it, it enables a lot for a developer to get, again, every NFT and every transaction of every NFT of a wallet that connects. And like what, I don't know what, a very smart person is going to do with that on their platform that does something cool. And that's what I'm very excited to see is, you know, here's, here's a cool tool. We believe it's fundamentally going to help explode innovation, but we don't know what that innovation is. And so seeing that uh, I'm, I'm very excited for. Sure. Now, is this live? When is it going to launch? If not, and uh, you know, how can developers start using hcraft.io? Yeah. So uh, it's in the name, go to hcraft.io. Okay. Um, and uh, we are in open beta as of October 12th. 
I believe that's when this goes live. So the, yeah, if you just go to agecraft.io, you can sign up for an account. Um, we're launching our pricing model as well. There is a free account, so you can just get in there, get API keys, play around and see if it works for you. Uh, and then we'll have a payment tiered system just as any other, you know, subscription service or API service. And you can get in there and, and yeah, start, start working with it right away. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to it, Patches. Do you have anything else you'd like to pass on before we let you go? Yeah, it's just we are in a very cool part of, I know, um, a bear cycle, which people typically aren't excited about. But as a builder, we have an opportunity to set the groundwork to really ride the next bull. Um, and I, I think the bear market, it really get, lends its time to developers to think about the experience they want to build, think about the utility and, and the, the value and hopefully the quality of life they can improve in their users. Uh, we believe HGraph.io will just accelerate all of those visions so that uh, as a network together, when the next bull comes, there's going to be so much value already instated on the network that it's going to just kind of explode. And we'll have that exponential growth that I think we're all been uh, hoping for and that step function that we know is around the corner. I think we'll be ready for that next bull run. Patches, thank you for everything you do in the community and for the ecosystem and best of luck with HGraph.io. Thanks so much for having me.